Want to know what's in my gym bag? Stay tuned. Let's find out. Put me on the front line. Put me on the front line. What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite pasta, Pasta Games Raymond here today with another episode. Not just a, not a fitness episode. Today is what's in my gym bag. So before I get into that, a couple of announcements I need to make. If you have a Walmart in your area or any kind of, or whatever your area, make sure you go pick up this this sparkling ice they have different flavors I'm a fan of the cherry limeade the lemonade and the orange one um, and the uh, lemon lime one those are my favorites so these are really good um, zero every zero calories um, has vitamin C no sugar no carbs no sodium just awesome so go check that out and my vacation videos they're divided up into three parts, so probably one part is going to be on, I'm going to try to get one part on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so be on the lookout for my channel of my vacation. It's going to be on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you're going to have part one on Friday, part two on Saturday, and part three on Sunday, so check those out. Uh, so with that being said, Thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. Really do appreciate it. Um, right now, I'm kind of struggling right now. I just signed up for school. Uh, I'm doing practice, um, personal training tests online. Uh, so, uh, and my car broke down. So, struggle is real out here. But we 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 got everything situated. So, I'm in a good state of where I need to go. So, yeah, about to become a personal trainer, y'all. So, I'm just studying until September really actually gets here. So, I'm going to see how this goes. But anyway, it's not what y'all came here for. Y'all came to see what's in my gym bag. So, let's get to it. Alright, guys. This is what's in my gym bag. Um, currently watching uh, Naruto right now. So, yeah, I have to excuse the noise. Um, so this is my gym bag. This is what I take to the gym to me all the time. Um, I represent Under Armour's. So pretty nice size bag. I put my work clothes in here. So yeah, this is my gym bag. So y'all yeah, wanna see what's in? Well, first of all, let me start with this. Um, this lock right here is broke, and I can't get it off. So that's why I had to buy another lock so I can't get this one off so I could probably end up having to cut this one off but that's uh, so alright um I have a Kingdom Hearts uh keychain around my bag representing Team Sora um I thought it was in here so what's in here is got some some snort nose some smelling sock in here so my name on it so it's just much of it um, got some Mio in here, fruit punch, and then I thought it's in here, so, zip that part back up, okay, zip up, but anyway, um, on the side, I normally put my camera on the side, on the side, I have a screwdriver for my belt. Uh, the way that ends are built, it takes a screwdriver, so I have to screw. <laughs> I stop. Uh, got a rag in here to clean my bottles out while I'm out. And I have a pin in here where I write, need to write important stuff down, uh, like documents and stuff like that. Um, what I need to do is some more guys. So let's move on to the side here. Put my bag on this part. Um, 
I have the Visa Grips Pros in blue. Um, I use these basically for my deadlifts um, and for my pull ups. Um, these are very, very, very good to have. Uh, I love these very much. Uh, one of my gym buddies showed them mine. Um, showed me one of these. He had some a pair of these. I had the normal strap, so um, I decided to pick up a pair of these. And trust me, they are worth the money. They're like fifty dollars, I think, but they're worth the money. Hold on one bit. Hold on. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to take. Oh, but yeah, I like these very good. Um, to me, these are better than the strap ones, and they're very durable. So. They have this real thick um, rubber around, so yeah, I like these. But uh, uh, next thing, uh, if I ever to wear gloves, I have my my pretty much my work gloves on. They're rubber and they're non-slip um, resistance, pretty much hold up against anything. So uh, you just probably see me wearing these during my bench press. So this is what I wear during my bench press: is these non-slip. Um, rubber gloves really gives me a better, tighter, and better grip on the bar than normal um, than without with bare hands. So I I wear these um, during my bench press. So probably sometimes doing squats too. Probably on front squats, but I wear them too. So yeah. Oh, next thing I have in my bag is uh, my Mark Bells. Um, oh, it went some time for a minute, y'all. Uh, my Mark Bell wrist wraps. So, these uh, I had the mini series and they didn't last too long. These I had for about a good um, seven months now, and they're pretty much still in good condition and in new condition. Might have a little bit of dirt on them, so uh, I have the gangster wraps. So these are a whole lot better than all the other reps out there. I love these and I will continue to wear these because these are so much better than all the other reps. And especially that cheap Walmart brand. Do not get those. Those will add double fatness to your wrap um, to your wrist. So um if you got the money uh, or you need to save the money, just get the gangster wraps, you'll be okay. Um, next thing I have in here is my gym workout notebook on um, what stuff I need to do that day. Um, uh, pretty much old, haven't been updated yet, so I thought I'd update it soon. And I have some straps I, that I used to wear before I went to the, um, Peasy Grips. So I had the old straps in here, and I have some gym paws in here. I don't know where the other one's at. In here, in my bag somewhere, uh, right here. Uh, so I got the gym paws. Put basically put this around my hands here, if I can get it around. So you basically it's like that, and then you just squeeze on the bar. But I, I prefer these because to me I work better than these than these. But I still use these. So gym paws, um, about twenty dollars, I think. So we'll check those out. So that's pretty much what's in my bag. All the stuff back in here because I will forget stays in here. So that's what's on the side of my gym bag here. Put that back. Yeah. Camera stopped falling down. So that's pretty much what's on that side. Now it's time to go to the main side of my gym bag. So here we go, yo. Alright guys, now it's time to get on to the main event part. Oh, it's in the main part of the bag, the center. So get that. Uh, now here's the center part. <coughs> Let's start with this one. Um, picked up or picked, picked this up off a WWE shop 
Facebook.com. I can unfold it for you with one hand, then I'll be good. Uh, y'all can see that it's the Eat, Sleep, Conquer, Repeat, Brought List of Gym Tile. So I picked that off of www.shop.com while it was on sale, but I left the books right there. So if you want a gym tile, Brought List of um, a random bowl. I normally put my fruits in here, and my, so for post workouts, as y'all probably saw the video, so uh, yeah, random bowl. I mean, did this. Um, extra um, shake and cup just in case I need it. That shake and cup always filled with some of that rich pianist real food. So, post workout meal. Um, pick me up also for post workout meals or just me in general. Uh, got me some quest bars. I got the focus the lemon cream pie, and I have got the strawberry cheesecake one. So yeah, I got that. Uh, um. So much of I got some protein um, mix energize me. Uh, I bought these at a like a little uh, Ross, and they were selling these. They have almonds, cashews, raisins, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, and cherries. Put the macros on here. Yeah, go. And this can also be used as a pre and post workout. So, um, see what else food I got here. Got me some of these. these mixed berries, Ten cranberries, cherries, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. So, here. So, that's it. Um, workout gear. I have the Mark Bell's uh, slingshot. So I really love these. Um, to me, these are a better fit. They feel comfortable. Uh, very um, keep my knees warm. Very tight. Um, just make sure you get the right size. Um, I made a mistake and got a medium pair. These are large now, so I got the largest. Um, pair uh, now nah, and they work better. Also, from Mark Bell, I have the hip circle. Uh, normally, when I first come to the gym, before I do digs or squats, I always warm up in the hip circle, make sure everything's good, make sure everything's functional. So, these this is work, this works good also. I'm planning on getting the red one soon, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, also from Mark Bell, which I should already know, I keep my uh, full bore slingshot in here uh, for bench press. So this, as you can see, this works very, very, very good. I recommend you this if you're having trouble with bench press because me, I have a bad shoulder and I use this steel mate gang. So um, shirt, just in case. Not a morning person, maybe. Uh, never shirt just in case. You want to tank top ride for. So, get that. Right, so, I got 100, 101 workout. So, I recommend you pick this up because it gives you pretty good tips in working out. You know, instead of staying in the gym for hours and hours and hours trying to scope that perfect body, we can just pick up this book. Because now, because trust us, not a lot of folks have a lot of time throughout the day just to, you know, sit there and work out for hours and hours and hours while you just pretty much do what's in this book and get the job done still. And, and also, as 
programs for bodybuilding. So you can pretty much say eat what you want to eat, but it comes at a price. So I remember, uh, I got this from Bars and Noble, so if you want to go check this book out, then check it out. Also, I have my book in my gym bag with some more workout. Super, uh, WWE Superstar Workout, how to get jobs in the arms, what's on his arms, uh, running on his legs, fly back his shoulders, we want that, get dogs into the abs, so, with my gym bag, uh, some more berries, stay with berries y'all, uh, my resist band, is in here. Do some stretches with this. Warm up my joints and my legs and the arms and shoulders. Still have bad shoulders. Um, got my pre workout in here. Kill it. Love it. Kill it. Rich Piano. Got that in there. Got his creatine. Creatine is in here too. Awesome. Both for fruit punch I got. Uh, and the only thing left I have might be a shrug. And it is, that's the shirt I've been looking for. Okay, so uh I've been looking for this shirt forever. I don't know what I did with it. So I got I found my shirt from Nick Wright that I got for him. So finally found it. And I got me some pants for the winter time, so. That's pretty much all the stuff that I have in my gym bag, so. With that being said, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below on what y'all want to see more of. I mean, just give me ideas. If y'all want to see more of squats, deadlifts, bench, other activities I do outside the gym. It really helps me on um, which I want to see. And so I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Um, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me if y'all want to see more episodes like this. Um, so yeah, thank you. like I said, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support y'all gave me, all the feedback. Do my best to catch up on y'all videos. Um, I am a very busy person, so. I will do my best to catch up on your videos. So, with that being said, I am the pastor. The gym is my church. All sins will be forgiven for killing your workout. And I'm going to catch y'all in that next fitness episode. Deuces. <laughs> Nothing else matters but lifting and growing. Remember that.